Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today we've got some more tips for your iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, whatever iPhone or iPad or whatever device you're using as long as you're running with iOS 7. So let's go ahead and get started with some awesome tips here. So the first one actually involves the calculator. So we'll go ahead and open up our calculator really quick here. And this tip is actually going to give you the ability to backspace. Now I haven't been able to figure it out until recently and and if you guys have figured this out prior to this video, awesome. So say you typed in a whole bunch of numbers, but that last number was supposed to be a six and not a five. All you do is simply swipe and you'll be able to remove the last digit that you've entered in. So I can go ahead and put my six in once again, put my six in once again, put my six in. The next tip allows us to use a triple tapping home button feature here on your iOS device. So in our settings tab, if we go to the general section, the accessibility and scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on accessibility shortcuts, we can select from these five different shortcuts, which will allow us to triple tap the home button to activate them. So traditionally, I like to use the zooming feature here. It's great for one handed use. If you're on a website and you want to quickly zoom in, you just quickly triple tap the home button, it'll zoom into that section, triple tapping it again will zoom out, but this works pretty much on any section of your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. As you can see, it can even zoom in on your home screen. Now, in that settings section, if you like to have more than one thing selected, like assistive touch is great, inverting colors is great too. If you triple tap on the home button here, it'll bring up some accessibility options and you can just select them that way as well. This inverting colors is great for reading. I use it a lot as well. Assistive touch is great if you have a broken lock button or anything like that you can use a digital button the next tip involves your text messages or typing in general if you've typed something in I'm just gonna go ahead and type a whole bunch of letters here let's say you made a mistake basically you just shake the phone you'll get an undo typing option here and if you tap undo it'll undo the mistake or anything you've done it's just a quick way to undo something you want to change Another feature with the keyboard is gonna give you a little bit more productivity and more functionality with it. Now, traditionally, when we go ahead and tap on the number section here, we gotta tap a number and then move back to the letter section. But if we wanna type a number and do it a little bit quicker, you can just tap and hold on the number and slide over to the number you wanna choose and it'll automatically bring you back to the letter section. Another great tip that sort of gets overlooked is the ability to use your flash as an LED notification. So if we go into our settings tab here, we tap on general, tap on accessibility, and then scroll down to where it says LED flash for alerts. As you can see that when you do receive a notification, your LED flash begins to blink. Back to the keyboard, we have another feature here. Let's say you've typed something uh, just quickly here. The man is happy. If we wanna just quickly put a period as well as jump a space over, we just double tap the space button and it'll implement a period as well as a space. Anyway guys, those are some tips you can use with your iOS devices. If you have tips you'd like to contribute to this series, leave them in the comment box down below and if I like your tip and feature it in my next video, I will give your YouTube channel a shout out. So if you wanna get some free exposure to your channel, give some awesome tips that you use with your iOS devices and then you'll help yourself out. Thanks for watching guys, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this one and I will see you in the next video.